Okay, this green is absolutely gorgeous, but I mean, is there a green I don't like? Hey y'all, my name is Ashley, and I am a collector and hoarder of makeup. And to continue to collect and hoard makeup, I promised I would sit down and film some content. So here we are. So today it is Friday, so I am doing a first impressions. So I'm gonna be doing a first impressions on Nomad Cosmetics Santa's Village Holiday Palette. And also in this video, I am going to be doing a giveaway. So if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so obviously by the title, you know what's going on. But uh, I'm gonna sh tell you a little bit about this palette before we dive in. So let's talk about the palette before we dive into how I got this eye look today. And so this palette does retail for $29 and it is a nine pan palette. So this is what the palette looks like on the outside. It is like this beautiful iridescent Northern Lights vibe. And then on the inside, you do have nine shades. Four of these are going to be mattes and five of them are going to be topper shades. That is going to be the palette. And then the other thing is the giveaway. So throughout the video, I am going to ask a question and at the end of the video, I will go ahead and share what I will be giving away and a little bit more info about it. So with that being said, let's just zoom in and get this eye look rolling. All right, so I really wanna try to do something different than I did last week because I did do those I did review the Odin's Eye Cosmetics holiday launches. I did some very like holiday looks. And in this palette, you do have like reds and greens and some topper shades. So I was thinking for this one, I might do something a little bit more, not neutral, cause I'll do color as well, but something a little bit more like easy. Does that make sense? I don't know. I already tried to play with one shade in the palette and that is the red shade. And the red shade worked out absolutely beautifully, but I did take it too far up and close to my eyebrow. So I kind of had to start over. So heads up, some staining up here, which I can fix easily, but I am refilming this portion. So my plan for this look is to kind of do green on the outside, red in the crease, but like minimal color here. And we're gonna use the toppers to kind of play with the inner corner and the center of the eyelid. So it's a little bit more neutral, but you still have that color. Plus I have to take my kids to swim today. So I don't feel like I'm like a crazy lady, even though I do it all the time. So the first shade I'm going to be dipping into is going to be the shade Santa. So that is going to be the red matte. And I'm gonna be applying this in my crease and just kind of like lightly, cause I don't wanna take it too far up like I did earlier. But I am going to just like kind of pat it there and just buff it lightly. Cause this shade is really pigmented and I kind of just want to like slowly build it opposed to um, just going straight in and then turning my entire eyelid red. So my anxiety for Christmas has calmed down quite a bit, which thank God, because I was starting to get an eye twitch. I was like, fuck. Okay, so I actually couldn't tell if it was from anxiety, stress, or caffeine, and I like kind of cut the caffeine back. It wasn't the caffeine, because after I took the caffeine out of my diet, like I cut back on it, um, the twitch got worse. So I was like, shit, I need a cup of coffee. So thank God, because I don't know what else I would drink. Um, I mean, I drink water, but like my daily like fluids come from coffee and water. So after doing the Polar Express experience with my kids and my family, like it just kind of put everyone in the mood and everyone's just been like, it's been nice. So I feel like the anxiety that I was having last week involving Christmas has calmed down quite a bit, which fuck, thank God. But we started like really decorating because it just kind of put us all in the mood. And the majority of the front lawn is done. Um, like we put all like the decorations that like, you know, like candy cane lights to go along the pathway and like an inflatable and the other crap that we have. Um, we just haven't like lined our house with lights, which is something that we like to do. The weather has not been kind in Texas the last week. One, it's been freezing, okay? Just absolutely freezing. And uh, nobody really wants to get on the roof in the cold. Really don't blame Keegan for not wanting to do that. But then also it's been kind of like wet. So there's been like lots of rain and it's just a dangerous situation. So we're waiting for the weather to kind of chill out a little bit before, you know, we do the task of putting the lights on the house. But yeah, so it's just like, I feel Christmassy. I got my nails all done for Christmas, so they're all like ready to go. Except for my thumbs look like it's the Gucci, but it's cool. 
So I kind of, when I get my nails done, I um, tell my nail tech what colors I want and kind of like the theme, and she kind of takes it from there. So I just told her red, green, white, Christmas. And that's what she came up with. Now I want to dip into the shade Fir Tree. So that is going to be this matte green right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my outer corner and blend it a little bit with the shade Sansa, but not too much because I don't want it to get muddy. So I'm just gonna kind of press and blend. Okay, this green is absolutely gorgeous, but I mean, is there a green I don't like? Now, when I am blending it in with the red, it is getting like almost black, but that's fine. I am just trying to blend it nicely together and it is like creating a way darker shade than I want, but it is what it is. So at the beginning of this video, I talked about how I'm gonna ask a question to enter the giveaway. So here it is. So to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is tell me, like I'm not gonna ask your life story here, okay? So, but all you have to do is comment your favorite holiday movie. So what movie like gets you in the mood for the holiday season? So comment down below what movie that is. And I'll share mine with you. My favorite, oh, actually I don't even know which one's my favorite. Mm, I think like my favorite holiday movie is going is Elf. I really just like love old Will Ferrell movies because we all know there was a point when Will Ferrell movies just kind of started to suck. But like Elf is a, one of my favorite movies. And I think, that's, yeah, that would probably be my favorite movie is, is Elf for sure. So after you leave me your favorite holiday movie, then go ahead and follow me on Instagram and leave your Instagram handle in the comment section. That way, if you win, I can contact you. Cause if not, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. So that is all you have to do. And of course you have to be subscribed. Like that's a very obvious one but it's very obvious, like subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and comment your favorite holiday movie. So easy. All right, now I'm going to cut like the crease a little bit, um, just so I can put that topper and kind of clean up that red just a smidge because it went a little bit lower than I liked. And to do that, I'm going to be using the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base, which is the same thing I primed my eyes with. I don't think I mentioned that, but I think at this point, I don't really have to. I feel so much better with a cut crease. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I wanna try to play with at least like two of these shimmer topper shades. So there is five toppers in this palette and they all come off as like these really beautiful, beautiful shimmers. And I did watch other people review this. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to watch other reviews of palettes that they want to review. I do it because I want to see other people's opinions and see if it happens to me. So, and what I've learned from watching people reviewing this palette is that everyone assumed that they were just shimmer shades. So they are topper shades and you got a topper shade, you usually want to have something underneath. Now for me, I want like a bare nude. So I'm just going to have this um, eye base there, but they are supposed to like a topper shade. They're supposed to top something. So I want to start off with this beautiful gold shade in the middle. Unfortunately, I cannot pronounce it. So I'm going to put it right here. And uh, I can't believe I said that like that. But that's where I'm going to put it. And I'm going to take my finger and go ahead and put it on my finger right here. And I'm going to apply it where I ended my cut. So where the green is and just like right here, kind of press down on it. Oh, that is a pretty, I am a fan of the gold. So I am gonna try it with a brush as well because I like to apply these types of shades with both a brush and my finger. And it's always nice to know that it works both, like both ways. So, so far with the finger, it's coming off really nicely. And it's got a beautiful like pink shift to it, which I think really ties together that red. So that is with it with my finger. I'm going to go ahead and take a small detailing brush and use that to apply it and see how that goes. That goes on quite lovely. So I don't know how this is coming off, off, off camera just because I could obviously see myself in the viewfinder. Oh, there goes that twitch I have. Um, it's coming it's coming off really pretty in person, 
but I feel like in the viewfinder, all you can see is that I cut the crease. So it's kind of disappointing and hopefully maybe if it does come off that way, I'll like insert some pictures of myself like right here. But I wanna go ahead and take another topper shade and I'm gonna take the shade Rudolph. So this is like more of a rosy gold shade and it's like leans more towards pink than it does gold. But this is what it looks like on the finger. So it has a very nice pink hue to it. And I'm gonna apply that in my inner corner. So I feel like these two shades should tie together really nicely. Oh, and they do, I love it. It looks like a gumdrop. So this time of year is literally the only time that I wear color. <laughs> and today I'm not, I'm wearing green. What a surprise. Well, I guess green is a color, but um, I usually wear like all black and do like really dark makeup and this Christmas time I'm like a completely different person. I'm like more cheerful. I actually put away the skull decor. Like, I don't know who I, I turned into a basic bitch during the holiday season. Okay, so those shades blended so nicely together. I absolutely love it. I definitely prefer the shade Rudolph, surprisingly. I thought I was gonna love that gold color, but that shade Rudolph, I just love how like sparkly it looks. Oh, I love it. I am going to take a smidge of that fir tree, that matte green, and blend that into that gold so it just like doesn't look like a line. So it looks a little bit more seamless. And that is the base of my eye looks. So I'm going to go ahead and just repeat it on my other eye. I'm going to probably add a wing liner and some lashes and I'll be right back so we can do the under eye. All right, so obviously I went ahead and finished out the rest of my face. I went ahead and used one of my favorite lippies to use, which is the Fenty Beauty Stena Lip Paint in Uncensored. I absolutely like love this kind of red around the holidays. So I figured it would go with the look. And then um, added some highlight, added some blush, added a little bit more highlight than I usually do because I have a massive pimple on my nose and I'm trying to distract from my shiny nose away from the pimple on the side of my nose. But I wanna go ahead and add some color to the under eye and I'm gonna start off with the shade Fir Tree and that is that matte green and I'm gonna use that in the outer corner and bring it pretty far in, just a little bit past the middle of my under eye um, just because I have so much red on top. And red is always that fine line, you know, when you're playing with red eyeshadow, you don't wanna overdo it because then it just looks like you might have pink eye, which is not the look I'm going for. And I don't think it's the look anyone's ever going for. So I'm gonna buff that out. I wanna go ahead and add a little bit of sparkle for the rest of the under eye. And I'm gonna use that shade Rudolph. So there isn't that many shades to play with in this palette. So kind of going in with the same stuff, but it will still look really nice. And then after I finish this eye look, we'll swatch the shades that I didn't get to use. Kind of like what I did last week in my video. Gosh, that topper shade is just so, so pretty. So one little thing to finish up the eye look, I'm actually gonna use the highlighter that I used on my face, which is from Ofer Cosmetics. I'm gonna use the shade Sugar Cookie, and I'm gonna use that for my inner corner just to tie everything together. It's just like a little dab, just enough to bring it all together. Okay, I feel like my hair is like all over the place and I can't seem to get it anywhere where I would like to keep it. Um, all right, so this is obviously the final look with highlight, everything included. Um, I wanna go through and swatch a few of these shades that I didn't get a chance to use. So there's two mattes that I didn't use in this palette and one is going to be White Christmas and that is going to be a matte white shade. So I'm gonna swatch it right here. You can just see how lovely it looks. So that is a very pigmented white. And the other is going to be the shade Elf, which is going to be a matte gray. So it's that shade right here. I'm just gonna swatch it underneath. So those are the two mattes I didn't get to use. And then there is three toppers I didn't have the opportunity to use. So the first shade is going to be Peace, which is going to be like a blue purple kind of topper. So it does look like this on the finger. And then when you swatch it, these are not showing up very well. So I don't know if you can see that blue and purple shimmer. The next one is the shade Sauna. And this one's kind of like a lavender to pink. And so that is that shade there. 
Ooh, I can't tell if it's picking up, but the final one is this really beautiful green. It's more of a blue toned green topper and it is the shade Winter Lights. So it does look like this. That is just gorgeous. And it's what it swatches. See that one is definitely more of a metallic. So look how beautiful that shade is. But all right, my first impressions on this palette. So I really like the palette for what it is, but I definitely think to like use, you need more mattes to use this palette with. So this is definitely like a palette you would pick up and know that you have other eyeshadows you can use with it. Just because one thing that I wish was in here, which I can't believe this is coming out of my mouth, but I wish there was like a nude shade. Now, of course I've got palettes with nudes all up in it, so it's not a problem for me to pull out that palette, use it, use this palette as a, a complimentary palette with other eyeshadow looks or eyeshadow palettes, but I definitely love it. I love the toppers in this palette. Um, these ones swatched way better than the gold one I used, which I thought was really, really odd. So like, I'm gonna try to swatch that gold one and that, like I said, I cannot pronounce it, nor do I feel like butchering it. So I'm not gonna do it. But like the gold is not, like when you swatch that green, like it's like, whoa. This gold swatched, it's not as punchy, but I really do like it as a topper. It looks really beautiful on the eyes, especially mixed in with that Rudolph shade. So I really enjoyed it, but like the texture of that gold one feels just slightly different than the rest of them. Like that gold one feels like more, cr more creamy, Ugh, if that makes sense. But this palette does retail for $29, and as I'm filming this, it is still available to purchase. I did see an Instagram post from Nomad Cosmetics. I can't remember exactly what it said, but I do know that they're doing a big Black Friday sale and that this palette will be included for the stock that they do have left. So if you wanted to get this palette a little bit cheaper than $29, there is a sale next week. Where, but you're kind of taking the risk of if it's still in stock by the time that Black Friday rolls around. But I really like this palette. I can't wait to play with it a little bit more and do a little bit more bolder look with it. All right, so now let's talk about the giveaway. So for this little holiday giveaway I put together, the one of the items that will be in this giveaway is going to be the Nomad Cosmetics Santa's Village palette. So I did pick up one for the giveaway. The other thing I picked up is some super cute earrings from Sugar Fix by Bubble Bar. I do get quite a few comments, not just on YouTube, but like on Instagram and stuff, asking where I get my earrings from. And like these ones included, they are from Bobble, Sugar Fix from Bubble Bar at Target. So I got these cute little ones that look like Starbucks red cups during the holiday season, and that will be included in the giveaway along with a red lipstick. So the liquid lip that is included in the giveaway is from Fenty Beauty. It is the one that I am wearing on my lips. It is in the shade Uncensored. So I wanted to include a favorite item that I use all the time and that's something that everyone can use. And so the product that I went ahead and picked out was a mascara. So I absolutely love the Lash Clash Mascara from YSL. So mine's right here. This is what the uh, packaging looks like. Um, very basic, but I absolutely love this mascara. I use it every day. And I figured it'd be really nice to throw this in the giveaway with the other items. So then the last item that I've included in this giveaway is something that I personally enjoy collecting. And I am in love with the Starbucks studded cups. Um, I collect them. I have quite a few in my kitchen cabinets. And this season, they dropped some really cool chrome cups. So I went ahead and picked up the Venti Gold Chrome Cup from Starbucks. Now, I already have this one myself as well. But I went ahead and added this to the giveaway. And yeah, so those are the items that are going to be in this little holiday giveaway. Uh, sorry it's not as big as some of these influencers do, but I wanted to do something very, I don't know, it's the holiday, so it's always nice to run a little giveaway during the holiday season, but then I also just want to uh, do a thank you and uh, appreciate everyone who's been watching my videos this year and got, yeah, like I, I don't even know what else to say to that, but it's really simple to enter the giveaway, so you got to be subscribed to my channel. You have to follow me on Instagram, leave your Instagram handle in the comments below, 
And then finally, answer this question. You have to tell me what your favorite holiday movie is. It is so simple. So uh, thank y'all for watching. Like this video, subscribe, do all the things, enter the giveaway. And until next time, bye y'all.